Okay, here, let's do another one where we have to figure out what is its shape, where is it located. What can you tell me about the shape of this function? It's a parabola. What tells you it's a parabola? The square. The square. So I know that my shape here is parabolic. What else do you know about it? So the vertex is left 3, up 7. Is there anything else you can tell me? The negative right here tells you that you're going to be upside down. Okay. So where is my vertex located? Negative 3, positive 7. So this guy tells me that my vertex equals negative 3, positive 7. So there's my negative 3, positive 7. I've already used these guys. I don't need them anymore. So this is my new, this is what I call my new origin. Because it's from this guy that I'm going to get everything else. Do you know the shape for this squaring function? Then use those points. This is your new zero. This is one, two, three, four, and so on. Since you're opening down, once I square those numbers because it's the squaring function, I'm going to be going down. So what's one squared? One. What's two squared? So down, one, two, three, four. What's three squared? Nine, what's four squared? So 16 will take you all the way to the bottom right here. Because you've got seven and nine more units is 16. Do you have any kind of symmetry here to help you get other points? The y-axis symmetry? Well, it had symmetry about the y-axis, but since this is now your new y-axis, this. Yeah. Axis of symmetry is right here. So copy these points over. Make sure that you copy them correctly, that they are equidistant from this vertical line. Is this going to give us that parabolic shape that we were expecting? Yes, now we just need to graph this. Arrows go at the end, and you will, you will graph this all the way to the edge of your graphing window. Okay. You guys have questions about that one? You want to verify? What do you guys think? Is that verified? Don't you wish your graphs were just like mine? Don't ya. Don't ya.